You are welcome to God's Word TV. Here is an online platform dedicated to spread kingdom messages to mankind. I believe this message is out to bless you. So go get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do so, please make sure you subscribe. This is very, very powerful. Many preachers do not know this. And the only thing you just do is to get up and say, God called me, God bless you. You start a church and find out nothing is happening. Many business people, especially those who come from families where nothing is happening. Let me tell you the truth. Whatever you see that is not working right in your life, your family, your territory. The first thing is not to go around understanding the names of demons and all of that. That may not be necessary. The most important thing is for you to know that there is a principal altar that has powered all the causes, all of these infirmities, all of these demonic things, and it is called the altar of sin and iniquity. Are we together? Your first assignment in tearing down altars is to rebuild an altar to the Lord over that family. You don't do it by a physical monument. It is an understanding and a spiritual approach. I told you that an altar can also be a non-material platform. Lord, I stand this day and in the name of Jesus Christ, on this day, I am standing to repent on behalf of my family, on behalf of all of this. Do you know that was what Job kept doing for his children? Read your Bible. That was why Satan came, even though they were wayward children. He offered sacrifices and built an altar for them. And nothing could touch them except when God gave Satan permission. Satan himself returned and said, when I went, I met a man fortified by the understanding of an altar and I could not do anything. I have seen ordinary people rise to supernatural levels and dimensions because they understood the power of altars preachers individuals there are families that have decided for instance to set up an altar an altar of prayer to say lord we agree as a family that we are going to pray and by reason of that they now authorize supernatural encounters that keep coming there are people who have set up all kinds of prophetic altars. But listen to me. The protocol one more time. To tear down any altar, including the altar that has seemed to destroy everything around your family and lineage. Believe me when I tell you, just assuming it is gone because you are born again. Personal salvation is not the same as territorial salvation. There are rules of engagement. Are we together? There must be genuine repentance. I'm saying that because that is what we are going to do this night now. Genuine repentance. For yourself and for everybody who is around your covering. And then when that happens, the next thing is a committal to live by the word of God. To live by the word of God. Not to live by superstition. Not to run from church and then run to another harbor list and say, what is this? And uh-uh, uh-uh. Commit out to live by the word of God. And then number three, the sacrifice of your own life. That you will live your life for his purposes. The sacrifice of your praise and your worship. And then the sacrifice of a seed. Let me talk for a minute about this seed. Don't be uncomfortable because I'm talking about it. Let me tell you the truth. There have been all kinds of givings in the body of Christ and I salute and I respect it. I want to tell you why many people's giving has not produced any results. Sincerely, and I say this with due honor to the body of Christ. Number one, most givings have simply been out of sympathy and whipping out emotions. So most of the givings have come like donations and there is a place for that. Are we together now? Yes. There are all kinds of seeds in the realm of the spirit. And 
you can use your sacrifice to perfect the process of erecting an altar that stands against anything that comes to destroy you so apostles were experiencing untimely death in our family every year and every month and every two two years someone must seem to die let me assure you if all you do is just get up and carry a seed and come and drop nothing will change i will not lie to you it's not all about money it's about knowing that there is a principal altar that powers that the altar of sin and iniquity so it starts with repentance whatever has given satan legal grounds to plague this family we come by the blood of the lamb